Today were uh, several bear sightings in town. It seemed to be increased frequency. I saw a little cub on Pablo Swamp, but that was nothing compared to the size of the bear we've seen in Cornwall Village by a citizen and also someone in Cornwall Bridge, I believe, reported having a bear in their house. At the front door, did they actually go in the house, Joyce? Walked in the front door. Right. So it will be. Was that today? That was today. Three bear sightings one day, three different bears. Don't leave your keys in your car. Don't leave your keys in your car. <laughs> yes. Well, one of the cubs, probably from Papa Swamp, got hit on Route 4 last Friday. Okay. It's a dead cub in the room. Mm. And I guess there was another one in East Canyon, dead cub in the room. I had one at the school that videoed uh, about two weeks ago. Oh, yeah? Yeah. It's on the YouTube video. <laughs> Okay, and he, no did, did the, the, the bear that went in the front door, did they eventually leave from the It's like a screen door kind of thing? Yeah. I thought it was something that opened. You want the bear? Okay. The so bear came in but then left. The door is closed. Okay. I look like he needed some encouragement to do that. He did need some encouragement. <laughs> I'll keep my eye on the door. Right? <laughs> I can't go knock on it. Okay, so then, uh, any public comments? Public, welcome. Uh, next is Flat Rocks Road Bridge. Roger said I will stop by after wetlands. I didn't see much wetlands. I don't see them either, but unless they're leaving on the scene somewhere. Uh. That was on the door when I came, so it must be the next up. New up. update. Okay, uh, well, if Roger comes by and gives an update, that's always welcome. If he doesn't come by with an update, the old date is that uh, he and I met with uh, Town and Norell, uh, the bridge contractor, last week. Uh, they hope to have the road closed the day after Labor Day. Uh, they're going to start mobilizing their work the last uh, week in August. And again, I'll confirm all this um, as that is a month away or so in our next meeting. But that, that's a tentative hope that the things have been cast and that they hope, depending on the delivery schedule, to get going right after uh, Labor Day as opposed to starting the week before. It seemed like it was, why not wait? go on that. Uh, kiosk in Cornwall Bridge. Uh, Dick Sears has done some footwork on the kiosk in Cornwall Bridge. This is in a medium age issue for the Economic Development Committee. It's been on and off and uh, 
the state said we did have funding, they would be able to apply funding for uh, from the Main Street grant uh, for the kiosk. It seemed like a fairly doable, good project. This would be located in the picnic area, visitor area center um, at the Cornwall Country Market. Um, and I went over the location with the owners, but it would be at a, a, a uh, place where local events could be posted, maps could be posted, and basically we be welcomed to town and directed around. Um, will, it be, will it be in the, uh, if you're the picnic area? It'll be pretty much underneath the old gas station sign. So closer to the road then? Closer to the road. Yeah. Where people will see it. Closer to the road within their uh, area. Right. Yeah. On their, on their property. Right. So, any thoughts on that? It's good he stayed within the budget that we approved. Right. Or he was able to. Yeah, so uh, I'd like to make a motion to proceed with that and get it ordered up. Uh, it will be made locally by Cornwall Miller and uh, put together. Set in some concrete right. buckets. Right. For the time for I think we can manage that. So, uh, any more discussion on that? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, next is the CCM prescription program. Uh, the town joined the Connecticut Council of the Municipalities this year coming year, the year we're in now. Uh, part of the side benefits of joining that organization is they have a, a prescription drug program um, that um, is available to townspeople, residents of towns that are members of CCM. It's not, it doesn't replace Medicaid, but it does uh, give benefits and had Dean Zaccardi, our summer intern, investigate this issue and get some feedback from other towns that have had it for several years. Uh, and Dean is ready to make a report. Are you ready? Sure. <coughs> so let's go to um, Roxburgh and Kent um, on what they thought about the CCM prescription program. Both of them spoke very highly of it, Roxburgh especially very highly of it. Um, they highlighted a few facts that um, it covers anyone who's not you know, covered by a um, another you know, insurance program. It also covers vision and some pet prescriptions as well. Um, they found it very useful. They've given out a lot of the cards for it. Obviously, it's slowed down in recent years um, for the you know, kind of flooded the market with these cards in the very beginning. But they do see that they still give out some cards as new people come into the town. Um, and so it's been, it's been fairly helpful to both towns, and they both recommended it, especially because it's of no kind of extra price. It's right on with your original plan. Who's paying for it? Right. You. We, we already are part of CCM. I can't really hear you. We're already a part of CCM. I know, but see, it's not part of CCM's fees. It's a, just it's a part of their program. We just were not signed up for it. How much do we pay for CCM? Uh, $800? Yeah. $600? Right. So it's other places pay a lot more, I guess. I think there's other organizations that do offer this somehow. Apparently, if you if you what if you aggregate people, there are other organizations, civic organizations that do this, and you get a good discount. And I'm not sure what. I mean, I think what we'd like is a, a motion to proceed, and we'll find exactly. I mean, I don't think you get free prescriptions, but I think it does. No, it helps. It helps with copays and some other stuff. I'm sure it just seems. Uh, too good to be true, uh, but I'm certainly willing to. But other town, other towns have done it, so I, we don't want to be. I understand. Uh, you know, we don't want to be too now. Uh, right. There is no cost to your municipality. There is no cost to the resident. Um, it's a, it's a benefit the residents at no cost. Uh, we extend to hearing and vision. Uh, it's available to anybody. You know, just. Good. All right. Well, anyway, we'll. We've had it for years. I asked about it, and I 
two years ago yep. when I first heard about it and we weren't a part of the CCM at the time so we couldn't we couldn't offer it. Uh, you can't last for about three years then? Yeah. Go from Santa for three or four. So we'll get some flyers or something to to present next meeting and then I think we well, well, I just get cards ahead. that get nailed out to the residents. Yeah, but I think we should sort of know the parameters of the program. What is, what are the benefits, and how can we'll dig a little deeper into this. But are there income restrictions or income? I don't think so if you have the card, you just present it and you get whatever yeah. benefit is being offered at that time for that prescription or that service. Right. It, and then another question would be, is our our do the dues, do the CCM dues that the town of Cornwall will pay, is that related to the amount of? No, uh, it's the, that's done by population. Strictly by population. Right. And some towns are very active in CCM and go to a lot of programs and stuff and use their, they have people that research, but it's, it's all there depending on how much you take part of it. So. If you Googled it, this kind of a card, you, there would be a bunch of different agencies that have also offered the same benefit. I don't know where they get their funding for it, but there's quite a few different agencies that offer it. Any other things we should find out before we jump in? We can ask a who. I mean, I don't have a problem calling up who pays and just to meet her if town doesn't get a bill in October or something. Mm -hmm. but somebody has to be paying for it. Right? Right. Nothing's for free. Somebody. Nothing's for free. Something's for free. <laughs> Nothing's for free. probably get a state grant taxes. But there may be, there's money to be made in prescription drugs nowadays and probably if you say we would like to have a program that reduces, the, you know, they, they do have programs for veterans and other groups that do get substantial cuts on their prescriptions. So, um, so anyway, we'll find out. How's it going? So, do you need an actual motion, or we can just? Um, I'll it? just tell you we're doing it. I mean, we're gonna, we're gonna, we'll know more next week or in two weeks, and then I would like to push it so we can get public publicity about it. I think we're gonna. I mean, I don't think we're going to find out anything other than it's a good thing, so I would like to... Like yeah, let's have a motion to proceed so we can get it into the press that we are doing this. <laughs> I move we proceed with the CCM prescription program. Is there a second? I have a second for that. Any more discussion? I'll get more detail, but unless we'll proceed unless we come up with something off the wall, off the wall <laughs> in the next two weeks. Okay, any more discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, Kerma, which is the town's insurance agency, which is affiliated with CCM, uh, which the town has workers' comp and liability insurance with, uh, gave the town a seven thousand two hundred and thirty four dollar uh, member equity distribution check uh, last week at the year end they had a very good year and that's the highest amount of distribution they have ever done to the members it's basically a pool of municipalities that get together to provide insurance and they've had a good year uh, low claims so this is the highest percentage of uh, policy, which is almost 10% of the premiums that they return. So keeping sufficient reserves, but being so, a cooperative, so they, they, uh, they get to a certain it. level, and yes. once they get up to that level of reserve, then they refund it. Yeah. As, as opposed to giving the CEO a, a bonus? Right, or, yeah, or the shareholders. But in a way, we are we the are shareholders. We are the shareholders. Yeah. So that's good. It's, it's good. Um, next, we have the building official contract. Our building official, Paul Prindo, would like to renew his contract for another year. Um, there is more building activity in town, and he 
does a good job. We have, in the last several years, we've uh, done it on a yearly basis as opposed to a multi-year basis, and that is fine with him. So I make a motion that we renew his contract under the same terms as we've had for the last year. A second time. Any discussion? All those in favor? No. Uh, uh, tax refund. Do you have that tax refund, Joyce, or do I? It's ten dollars and fourteen cents. I believe. Yeah, pretty much ten dollars and fourteen cents. You found a taxpayer due to overpayment of motor vehicle tax. So I make a motion that we do this on recommendation of the tax bill. Okay. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, next would be additions to the agenda. We have two. One is uh, Town Hall Wi-Fi. Uh, I believe we did look into the Town Hall Wi-Fi status. We have two. We had two. We had we had two Wi-Fi yeah, setups, yeah. and then we hardwired the town. One was for the town offices, town, and one was for general public. It was for Barbara, and then the being across the parking lot. Right. We did more gaming into the stone wall, so we hardwired Barbara, and they got their own one up there. Right. That so was this one in Barbara's office has no use anymore. Right. They did that last year, and at that time, I requested that the Wi-Fi be reinstalled here, at least during meetings, because I used my phone instead of having a stack of paper to look at whatever information and correspondence is set, sent during the, the weeks, and also if we have questions on things, I'll look up trying to get an answer while, sitting, while we're sitting here instead of waiting two weeks. And that was all fine and good for a year, and then it shut off again, so hmm. we could get it back up and so, running. And the other suggestion, I don't know if it was yours, was to meet in the hallway instead so that we could get service, and we could do that. So we have, but well, we do have public Wi-Fi. At this, but it doesn't right? reach this room because of the walls. So it goes outside. No, it reaches some people. I don't know. It must depend on what kind of phone you have. It's it hit or miss here because of the stone wall and the wall. But, uh, right. You know, in the hall, it's more it's reliable. Huh. But Dean, you were using your tablet the other day. It reaches computers. It won't reach phones. My computer was fine over there. Uh -huh. Did you your phone didn't work? You got what, five or six more meetings with me? Throw a Wi Fi box in there. I'm happy. Okay. You're good to go. The next board can decide what they want to do. I wonder if it makes sense. Cost you anymore. I wonder if it makes sense to strengthen the signal on the public. That, could, that would get you your know, your system and it would get yeah, more the, coverage outside. Yeah. What? Yeah, the vault here. That's yeah. probably what it is. Yeah. So where, is the, where is the signal mm -hmm. emanating mm -hmm. from the room? To the right of the stage. Maybe you the signal. Come halfway in the wall. And Maybe it could be moved to the back of the building, to the front of the building, whichever way. And then you got to run wires. Uh, you must, works you must have so You must have the Wi-Fi. Do you have a signal? Yeah, yeah I'm calling the wall website right now. Put right. you on the top. Call on right. Maybe yeah. we can just move our table. Maybe you can borrow it. You know what I mean? So that it's not. So the problem what? is here. I can't get the signal from here. It's coming into the door. I don't oh, know. what service do you have? Do you have AT&T? I have Verizon. Verizon. What do you have on here? Verizon. No, Verizon. I'm not saying. I'm saying Wi-Fi, not cell phone signal. Well. Oh, okay. I got a, you know. You're on the website. Oh, you're, you're on the, on the website. Oh, yeah. yeah, but are you off the Wi-Fi or are you off the cell service? <laughs> There's a little tiny. Just one little bar. One little tiny bar. I have, I have just one bar also. One bar. One bar. Depends on where you're sitting. Right. It'll defer, defer to whatever's stronger. So that signal there is that also used for the voting stuff or not? 
Yeah. Voting yeah, hard wire. Because they keep on changing there. Yeah, I think the voting mode hard wire. They got the Wi-Fi and got hard Right, yeah. Because yeah. they were wi fi it. We, can have we had three Wi Fi's for a while. I mean, we had one up in the corner, we had the one in Barbara's office, and the one in the town hall. Right. And now we're down to one. And where's the one then? In the town hall. In the town hall. On that wall. Right. right. So it's not cold enough mm -hmm. now. We can meet in the hall. Yeah. It's not a cold season, so it's cold. Or in the big room, like in, the big room. Big in the big room. Not in the hall. Well, I mean, the town, the, the hall town be. Hall. Yeah, oh, you don't mean the hallway. No. Right. The hall. Okay. Well, We'll move into the town hall. I think this room has much better acoustics than that one. Yeah, just to, people it's can't difficult hear to hear things in there for sure. Mm -hmm. Does does Okie Dokie still have the box? I mean, I don't, I don't imagine he threw it away. Just hook it back up. It doesn't cost yeah. anymore. Okay. Right into the same line. And she can still be hardwired in. It was the same situation last year. That's when you hardwired her in. Hmm. It was good for a year. Now it's off again. <laughs> Must be his, his yearly visit to upgrade everyone. Well, <laughs> we'll give him a call. Oh, I wonder if they're meeting you. Maybe. I don't know. We better hurry up. Okay, anything else on that? We'll call so what's the Dokey. answer? Yes, we're going to put it in or Well, we'll no, call Bokey Dip, Okie Dokey, <laughs> and tell him to reactivate it in the switch so he can turn it on for this meeting. He did say, is this a system we had separate from the public? It's also hooked into our other system? Well, it's hooked into Barbara's accounting system. Originally. Which is Still one reason is. why I wanted to disconnect right. it. He didn't so want accessibility to Barbara's accounts. Yeah, it's about a running Right, as opposed to the public. Right, and it would be only those people who had the password, which is only those people on the score. Right. Right. So we have to actually know people who have it. So, yeah, it's 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 be more careful with the password, yeah, change the password. Okay, we'll get, we'll touch base with him and see what he has to say. Okay, Roger's coming in. Uh, parking in West Cornwall. Just an update. Did you talk to Russ on the signs in the windows? Did he? Oh, that parking. Did he have any comments? <laughs> trying, to, trying to figure out which parking we're talking about. Oh, sorry. I did talk. I talked several parking lots. Uh, I did talk to Russ, uh, and he said that his insurance company has recommended that action so that people will come back and. Have an accident or blame him for parking. And I but said, if he I doesn't just, own it, I I went through all that with him. This, as far as I understand, Roger's here. Roger, where's the property line? Where's the state property line in front of the wandering moose? Is it right where the sidewalk is? Is it right at the edge of the building? Is it inside the building? It's about a foot into the new concrete sidewalk. Oh. Okay. In. So the state property line is in the middle of the sidewalk. Yeah, we do have a map around there that shows the right. street property line. So the, the exact, but it, it the, is in the new sidewalk. The parking, so the parking spaces in front of that building is, are on state property. Correct. He doesn't pay tax on that. So right. on the sidewalk, whatever we own that foot or the state owns, could you put some kind of Temporary ballards or something with some roping that says free parking. Free parking. Free daily parking, no overnight parking or something. Uh, I don't know. I mean, the good news is the second part of our conversation was he's got a tenant, potential tenant, looking at uh, upgrading the building, getting using the facade grant. So I want to sort of push in that direction as opposed to butting heads over signs and parking things. So I would encourage that because I think that would make it the issue fairly moot if the and I think the main objective is to get that building open and operational. Right. What's the time frame on that? I mean I, and again I don't if it's his building, 
I don't know without spending some money whether he could put up no parking signs oh, on his window. I'm not denying that he could put up whatever he wants on his windows. And then, but, so, then we put, I'd rather get the building up and operational than worry about the parking for the short term. So, we'll assist. Do you have any time frame on that? No. no. But as I said, we sent him the application today, so hopefully we'll hear back. I'll follow up with an offer and just see what we can do to try to move that along. Okay. Any other comments, Rogers, here? I gave them the old news that the bridge is going to start. The road's going to be closed the last the day after Labor Day. And you have an update on that. You have an update. Yeah, that's, that's old news. Old news, so tell us the new news. I had a meeting this morning with uh, Tom and Morell. Yeah. And uh, uh, we're getting to the end before the beginning. I'll, I'll get back to the beginning. Uh, they would like to close, they anticipate closing the road on the 11th, which is uh, the Monday after Labor Day. Rather than a week closing, after Labor Day. Right, one week after Labor Day. Right. So the following Monday after Labor Day, which right. is September 11th. They yep. plan, uh, they've got the signs. Painted. They haven't picked them up, but the signs have been made to be put up. Uh, Two weeks ahead of that. Right. So the so road will be closed September 11th, detour. Okay. So we're going, the town of Cornwall will be sending a letter to uh, town of Royal stating that the project will begin on August 28th. So from that point on, they will be able to go out and work on the road. Not close it, but there will be work right. done preparation. Between the 28th of August and September 11th, the road will be open, but the project will have been started. There will be some uh, work prior to that, just relocating utility lines. The power company and the telephone company decided to upgrade their facilities in that area and put in new permanent poles. They had talked at one time about putting in temporary poles, so they can put in a couple of new poles and reset the line further off the, the town driveway. Good. Um, got confirmation from Tom Hennessy that our bridge is complete. That's the company that's making it. Right. That's uh, Contact. That the bridge is complete and being cured in their yard. Um, and Tom Morell and Contact are working on the delivery schedule so the pieces arrive in proper sequence that they can put in place. So the pieces will be shipped sometime after September 11th. What kind of work will take place between <coughs> August 28th and the, the road closing? Uh, whatever they feel they need to do as far as uh, uh, staging areas, uh, they, the utility work will be done during that time frame as well. Uh, there won't be any change of the, the road. They're not going to tear anything out until after that September 11th. So there might be some equipment in the area. The signs will be up and the project will have begun. They've got 120 days from the August 28th date, which is the start date, uh, but they can only have the road closed 30, a maximum of 30 days, 30 calendar days. Good. And there's not much work to do after they open the road. Correct. But then it's just, uh, you know, seating, grading, uh, guide rail work, uh, things like that after the road is open. Good. So that's and better then, than last year's schedule. Yep. They're uh, anticipating with that scheduling, they ought to have a, a comfortable margin of time. Certainly when the road is open, subsequent to the bridge, or maybe even prior to the, the road being closed, at either time frame, that August 28th to September 11th. Then it's closed for however long it is. Right. Then it reopens. Right. Uh, there couldn't. There may well be a few minute delay while they're doing something. Oh sure. Right. right. I mean, uh, during the 120 days of the contract time, people can anticipate, you know, getting through there, except for the time the road is closed. So there may be equipment in the road, you may have to stop and wait a couple of minutes. Sure. Yeah. Whether it's the power company, whether it's the telephone company. Uh, whether it's down the road. Down the road. Yeah. But uh, once they close the road uh, on September 11th, 
then they plan on working, you know, straight through to getting reopened. They anticipate uh, that it will be significantly before the 30 days. Great. And I have to admit that's an entirely new look there. For me. Summer look. Right. Somebody's been cheered. Okay, that's it. It's hot. Yep. <laughs> Good. All right. So, anything else on Flat Rocks? We're set nope. to go. Uh, we're set to go. Uh, to the, the time frame's a little different. They will be putting up the signs uh, more than two weeks in advance. So, they're probably mm -hmm. putting up the signs uh, later this month. Well, this is our next month. Uh, in the next okay. couple of weeks, just to let people know it's going to happen. But it's, right. it's a definitive start date. The bridge will be closed on September 11th. Okay, very good. Uh, let's see, what else? Anything else? Public comments? Karen Nelson is here. Snuck in, good. Yeah. So the, yeah, anyway, so things are good. All right. So I think that's it, other than paying some bills. All right. Thank you all for coming. What? I'm going to duck and run.